Hi, this is a quick forum answers video. I ain't done one of these for a long while. This is for Dude One and CRS who want to know how to do a calculation between 50% and 150%. Well, if you look, if you look at my code there in the MDI, I've set the spindle up on 10,000 and spindles running. And now I don't have a pokies but i can still set an analog pot up on an arduino now if you watch me spindle speed and the override you'll see that they're working with the pot now i've centered it to 100 percent in the center of the pot and obviously if you go back down the other way to the other half of the pot then that'll take you down to your 50. so how's this done there's no maths calculation in it because I'll be absolutely honest with you, it take, it'll take me an age to work that out and I don't think it'll work on something like this. Well, if, it's just a straightforward table. Now, if, if the um, analogue is anywhere between 0 and 10, then it will send out 0 0.5 to the um, set override value. If it's anywhere between 10 and 20, it'll send out... 0.51 etc like that we've also got a function which rounds it off to the nearest 10 that is a straightforward lua function and obviously a function which is get a reg which is what i use to get the registry value so where does this go well if we go into our operator I'll probably disable that first go to our edit screen now in our screen load script, stick a nice little line at the bottom, do file, and obviously the directory name, and the file, which is spindle override.lua. This will be in your Mac 4 hobby directory in the modules folder. Is what that will do is when you start up Mac 4, it will read that file, set up the table for you in Mac 4 and obviously put the functions in that it needs. Next thing you need to do is go into your PLC script and possibly at the bottom. A couple of little lines there, you'll have to change it to your register, mine's called pot1 but yours will be probably called something different. It's all it's doing, it's getting that registry value, rounding it off to the nearest 10 and that's it, that's all that does. Then the value it sets up from the table. Simple, straightforward. In fact, I normally do these videos because it's easier than typing it. I think that lot might have been easier to actually type it. Anyway, I hope you've got the gist of that. If not, I'm sure you'll be posting something on the forum. But like I say, it works. One thing I can say though is that will no longer work because you have the PLC. The PLC keeps setting it. So if you do that, it's going to set it back to the value what your pot's on. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.